Adam, San Diego Fire Department, Station 10. Today we're going to be talking about various striking tools. We're going to um, go over each one of the various striking tools and we're going to demonstrate and talk about the uses of each one as a striking tool. First we're going to start with the 8-pound flathead. The 8-pound flathead is the ideal striking tool. Every 8-pound flathead that you find should be mounted to a halogen bar ready to go. That makes up your set of irons. The reason why the 8-pound flathead is so ideal is because, number one, it shares the same weight as most sledgehammers with 8 pounds. Some sledgehammers are 10 pounds, but 8 pounds will definitely do the trick. And there's versatility to an 8-pound flathead. The 8-pound flathead, the axe blade, can be used as a gain saver to save your gap on a, on a uh, forced planetary operation. Also, if you want to use it when you go inside the structure, it can be used for overhaul breaching walls and ceilings, and it can also be used in a fire ground survival situation if you had to use it to get out of the structure. Okay? The next striking tool is the sledgehammer. Now the sledgehammer is a great tool because of its weight. Eight or a 10 pound sledgehammer definitely has a lot of force for striking, but it's a little bit of a one trick pony. Once we use it to set a tool, we do breach the door. Basically, this tool tends to stay outside on the front porch or at the front door and not be taken inside the structure as, as a uh, more versatile eight pound flathead would. But it can be used for setting a tool. Also, if you want to use a battering technique and just ram in a inward swinging door, a sledgehammer is perfect for that. Talk about a six pound pickhead axe. Now a six pound pickhead axe is not designed to be a striking tool. It's not the ideal striking tool. It doesn't have the design for striking that the other tools do have, and it doesn't have the same weight at only six pounds. It's not ideal, but it can be used. If I went to a door and my partner had a halligan and all I had was a six pound pickhead, I would use this tool as a striking tool instead of running back to the apparatus to grab a better striking tool. And we'll go over a couple different techniques that you can use with a six pound pick hit as a striking tool. There are other various tools that you'll see on apparatus out there in the ranks. You will see some companies have a pig, which is a great striking tool. Again, it's designed to be made into a halligan, and it is eight pounds, so it's an excellent striking tool. And then the TNT tool, multi-tool, has a sledgehammer end on it for designed just for striking, so it's also a very good striking tool. actually go into the striking uh, techniques of the various striking tools. Okay, first and foremost, got to make sure that my partner's ready. You can see that he has his halogen already set in the gap, or placed, the fork is placed in the gap, and he's ready for me to strike that tool to set it to the depth that he wants. You can see his eyes are focused on the forks at the gap. He's also got an excellent grip on the tool. He's got his hand slightly away from the ads, just in case. He's got a nice safe distance there, and he's got his elbow tucked in keep it even safer. So, we're going to start with the 8-pound flathead. Remember, the 8-pound flathead is an ideal striking tool because of its weight. At 8 pounds, it brings a lot of force. Plus, it's got a large flat surface, which is excellent. Gives us excellent surface area to strike the tool. The ideal way to use an 8-pound flathead for striking is to get down on one knee. Assume this position right here. I can get into this position. And my job, basically, is to hit every time my partner asks me to, is I'm just providing the force on the tool to set that. So I'm basically the axe motor. I'm not going to do anything until I'm told to hit or strike by my partner. Okay? Okay, partner, move. Hit! 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 Okay, so you can see that by down in this position, I've got short, deliberate strikes that are bringing a lot of force. We're already getting some, some depth on his fork right now inside the gap, so it's working. And this is the safe position to do so. What I want to show you now is I want to show you an, a, a, an alternative that's not a very safe way to do so, or a way to use the flathead. When I'm striking the flathead, if I turn the flathead on its side and I use this tool, all it does is puts the ads and the flathead parallel. It decreases the amount of surface area that I have and it increases the chances of me glancing off, missing, hitting him in the knuckles, glancing off, taking out his hand, 
or just all together missing the tool. That's why the perpendicular position is ideal. Now I'm going to talk about striking with a sledgehammer. Remember, like I said, a sledgehammer is an excellent striking tool because of its weight. It also has good surface area, so it's less concerning about missing because whether we're off to the side or down perpendicular, it's still the same amount of surface area that's striking the ads. But remember, sledgehammer, I've got to juggle not only an ads but also two tools. Now I've got a tool in each hand. It's a little less ideal, okay? But same way, using a sledgehammer as a striking tool, when my partner's ready, I'm just going to provide strikes. Hit! 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 Okay. Okay. The last tool we're going to demonstrate with is the six pound pickhead axe. Now, like I said earlier, the six pound pickhead axe is not the ideal striking tool. It's not nearly as heavy as the eight pound flathead or a 10 pound sledgehammer, but if you had to, there's a couple of different ways that you can use a picket ax for striking, okay? Number one, one way is we're gonna use all of the side of the ax as our surface area to strike the ads. So I can stand in this position right here. I've gotta be sure that I keep my fingers away from the head of the ax so that I don't trap them between the ax and the ads. So I'm gonna slide them down the tool a ways to be safe. And from here, I have a large amount of surface area so I can use like a slapping technique to strike this at uh, to strike the halogen or the other alternative to this is I can use the top or the head of the pick head in like a ramming fashion where what I can do is again now I'm perpendicular I've got a large amount of surface area perpendicular so it's difficult to miss and I can come from this way okay partner ready hit, 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 hit. so again it can be used but it's not the ideal tool